Hello, welcome to part 6 of my platformer tutorial. Um, <clears throat> last time we made an enemy and that disappeared when you killed it. As I will demonstrate now when it loads. Here we go, we have slime that kills you and you can kill it. If you hear my laptop uh, with the fans screaming um, just just ignore it I guess there you go so that's that's that so now we're going to make <clears throat> like an ending to a level so if we make a new object let's call let's, let's make a sprite and let's call this door you, oops, door you can call it ending or like anything really so we're gonna add an animation just just like we would with anything else I'm gonna go to art and then now I've got to remember where it is is it tiles? Maybe. Here we go. Door. Of course, I'll put all of the things that I'm using down below. So here we've got a top and a bottom. Um, <clears throat> technically, you should just have it all in one file. Um, but if you do have two, then it's alright. You're just going to have to do more work. Um, I'm just going to use this one. I don't really need the top. So we're going to open it. Okay and click apply so let's open up this grid here and let's drag this out and then let's have the door about here <coughs> so what we're going to do with this door well we're going to have it so that when the player hits the door if the number of coins equals something then they'll be able to open the door. Um, but if the coins don't equal something, then then they won't. Or you can just have it when the player touches door, change the scene to this. Um, or if the player, um, let's say you wanted to get a key to open a door, you would just have if the key. If you have a key, so uh, the door would open if the key variable of the player is equal to one. And that's if the player has the key. If the player doesn't have the key, then it will be equal to zero and the door won't open. So that's quite simple. We're just going to make a new group and we're going to call it door. And we're going to make a new <coughs> event. Now, we're going to do collision because we need to find out if, if the player is colliding with the door. You should be familiar with these already. So... It's, it's it's quite easy, so if the player is collision with the door, we're going to change the scene. And do we have another scene? No, we don't. Let's make a... Let's just call this one main menu. And we're going to move it up because um, GDevelop starts the game with the first scene. It's the one that's on the very top. And so you want to have the one you want to be seen first at the very top so that it will be seen when the game starts. So we're going to change the scene to actually, yeah look it's got a drop down here, so main menu okay so now whenever we touch the door it should go to main menu which is just a blank scene if we don't die first I'm going to have to beat that slime here we go. There we go. We changed the scene. <clears throat> so what you can do is you can um, then make it so that you need a certain amount of coins. So we have variables. I think that's a scene variable. I'm not sure. Wait, let me just check. <laughs> I've actually forgotten this. Whoops. All right. It is a global variable. So score is a global variable. And so we cannot have this. We need to have global variables, value of a global variable, score. We're going to have this equal to, actually, let's have greater than, so if they get more coins, then they can still go through. Value to compare, let's say three. Okay, so this is when the player is in a collision with the door and has greater than three. This right here, if 
this is just greater than, then if they don't have if if they have three coins, it won't let them in. And so you want to do greater than. Or, why is this like this? All right, greater than or equal to, which is greater than three or equal to three, and so that means they can have three and still get through. <clears throat> and that's that's it really. So let's only get two coins and hopefully there you go it doesn't take you to the main menu but if we get a third coin there it is <clears throat> so you could say if player is in collision with door and global variable is less than three or less than or equal to two <clears throat> then um, it could display something to say you need more coins or something so that's that right so I hope you enjoyed this short video and I will hopefully make a video on how to make a menu real soon look out for that goodbye <laughs>